Hey, Julie Burke here, founder of Create Success with Julie.com. How's it going on this wonderful, uh, beautiful actually afternoon we're having? It did not start out this way in Chicago this morning. It started out a bit um, cloudy and really, really foggy. Um, so, anyways, I am I'm heading out uh, to my son's school, and um, I just uh, actually I just heard about uh, this is off base, but. Uh, my hearts and prayers go out to, I heard there was a school shooting in Spokane, Washington, and my gosh, you know, as a parent having um, a seven-year-old, it, it's just, oh, your heart just breaks. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but um, anyways, I, I don't want to make this live uh, about that, but I just wanted to mention that it was something I actually just found out um, from a, somebody on Facebook about this uh, this this shooting, and Oh, just, it's just, uh, it's heartbreaking. So my thoughts and prayers go out to those families in uh, Spokane, Washington. But, um, okay, so today I wanted to um, talk about, hey, Tiffany, how's it going? Yeah, who's on here? Um, Cassie, hey, what's up, girl? So as you guys are tuning in, uh, say hello. Um, drop me a message where you're tuning in from. And I'm going to be answering a question um from um, somebody that reached out to me asking me to do a live about this. Hey Heather, how are you? Um, if you are new to who I am, Julie Burke, um, I'm the founder of Create Success with Julie, uh, dot com. Head over there, put your email in, and grab yourself one of my free resources. I have many. I have my ebook, I have my social media recruiting guide, uh, I have my 41 Bulletproof One Liners, so feel free, grab them all whatever you'd like to do, but I want you to drop me a one so I could personally give you a shout out if you are new to who I am. I've been in the network marketing uh, profession for five years. I have um, also moved into online marketing, affiliate marketing. I do a lot with uh, building my business on social media and I teach you how to build your business utilizing social media because I wanna help you leverage your time um, because we're all busy, right? So. Um, Nikki messaged me and she asked me uh, to talk about this, uh, which was actually really funny considering I had just gone through something um, with my own uh, upline from my past company. And um, she, uh, uh, sorry, Han, I'm in a parking lot and the, there's this garbage truck just making a whole lot of noise. Um, you guys, I do these lives wherever I can fit it in. Those that know me know I'm a crazy mom and um, I, I definitely wanna jump on and do these trainings, but I have to do it where I can, okay? Um, so basically, I wanna make sure I got this right. So what do you do when your upline only holds those on their team in high regard that are building fast and having success, okay? So what do you do in an upline only um, gives those people a shout out? And um, rather than, you know, kind of spreading the love throughout the team. So basically she wants to know what, I, I don't know, you know, Nikki, I don't know if you're asking what I would do, but she asked me to do a live about this. So basically what do you do when your upline is only promoting um, highlighting those on the team that are having success and holding them in high regard. Okay. So those that know the story of what happened, I never really, really went into an in-depth story and I don't really want to talk about necessarily what happened with my upline in my past company, but I will say this. The reason I left was because, um, I felt I was, um, treated unfairly for something that I didn't do. They didn't like the fact that I was out here helping you guys build your businesses. They thought I was losing focus, um, of course, probably, <laughs> because I, whenever you split your focus, you guys, you understand that um, something doesn't have your full attention. Of course, it's not gonna build as fast, right? So I'm sure they were a little upset that I was focused on helping network marketers in general and not necessarily maybe focused on building my business. So obviously it was maybe affecting their income just a little bit. However, what I was doing was attraction marketing and through attraction marketing, people actually wanted to join me in that business. Okay. So it was more or less of those I, I, I held them in high regard as being 
family to me, love them very, very dearly. Okay, you guys like went to their home, stayed in their home, um, drank in their home, ate in their home several times. And they were top income earners in my, my company, my past company. So a situation like that where I felt like uh, the corporate got involved and they were coming down on me for doing what ultimately in network marketing we're told that we should do is be entrepreneurs. I was being an entrepreneur. I was looking at multiple income streams in case something ever happened, God forbid, with that company. And I was taking care of me and my family and doing what I want to do, which was I just fell in love with the profession of network marketing and wanted to help network marketers, okay? Because I see a lot of people out there doing it wrong. In a situation like that, the reason I left is because I felt I was treated unfairly. It had nothing to do with my downline. I love them. It had nothing to do with anybody else. It had to do with drama. And I don't do drama. I cannot stand drama. There were too many people involved in what I was trying to do. And I was very, very, very treated on very, very unfairly for me just wanting to go out there and make an impact and make a difference. Okay. So I got the house brought down on me. That's why I left. All right. So if it's a situation like that, then you have to, you have to look within and figure out what's more important, money or your character. Somebody in t attacking your integrity. I walked away from multiple six-figure income because I said, you know what? I'm going to go somewhere else where I'm appreciated, where they actually appreciate you being an entrepreneur. And I found that place. I found my new home, okay? I did what I had to do. I walked away. People thought I was crazy. So be it. I, I was more or less kind of forced out in a way, all right? That's okay, though, because I found somewhere I'm super, super, super happy with and they actually love what I do. Okay, now, that is one situation. I'm gonna flip this, all right? And Nikki, you might not like this answer I'm, I'm about to give you. If that is not the case for you, and you're very happy where you're at, and it's just an upline who is just an upline that all they care about is those having success in the team, and that's all they wanna spend their, their time with, there's a flip side. If you are doing all the income producing activities, if you are dialed into the events, if you're showing up to the trainings and they're still treating you like this because you can't, or um, not you can't, like you're um, maybe just having a hard time producing or you know recruiting or sponsoring or what have you, it's, um, it's, it's definitely not right. Like I, I feel like as an upline and as a leader, you should fully respect everybody on your team, no matter if they're new or you know just making their first $100 or making a million dollars a year. It doesn't matter, right? But see, that's, that's me, that's who I am. That is not who your upline is for Nikki. Um, so this is what I say, focus on you. Who cares? You have to be your biggest cheerleader because nobody else will. And I did a video on that recently, right? Nobody else will be the biggest cheerleader except for you. So you have to figure out what is most important to you, what is most important to your family. If you're happy with your company, you feel like it's your home, you love your product, you love your team, who cares what your upline thinks? I'll produce them. Get up on that stage, do whatever you can, let it motivate you. Don't get down on it because they're not calling your name out on a team call or they're not shining light on you. You know what? Who flipping cares? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you feel about yourself, how you're producing, and what you're doing for your own personal team, right? This is not a CEO working down. This is not a company structure in that way. This is you being the CEO. This is you being a boss. So what is happening from your level down, right? Are you rising your team up? Yes, I get it. It's nice every now and then to have that light shine upon you. And, and as, as a uh, leader, I actually, I actually would shine more lights on those 
that just got their first recruit. Why? Because that's super, super motivating, right? Like that's super exciting. And so you want to celebrate every stage with everybody throughout your team. So if you're upline, if you feel like they're not giving you credit, if you feel like they're not shining light on you, if you feel like, you know, and I'm, I know you're not crying wolf, like that's not what I'm saying, but all I'm saying is go and create your own success story. That's it. Just go out and create your own success story because you know what? They're at the top of their game. They're probably making millions. Maybe not, but I'm sure, you know, they're not sitting around crying about their up upline because, or they might be the top of their upline. I I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not sure how your company is structured, but I'm sure that they, their, their main focus is, is getting more people into their team, right? Like that's it. Enrolling, sponsoring, closing, starting, enrolling, sponsoring. So all that connecting all the way through, that's what they are focused on. And then of course they're going to shine the light on those that are out producing everybody else because it's going to motivate them more, but that's wrong. That's wrong because you also want to motivate those that are just starting all the way through. Anytime anyone gets gets on the phone for that one call and they're scared as hell, they should be highlighted upon. Anybody that gets that first recruit, they should be highlighted upon, okay? That's how I do it. So I'm sorry that's happening with your upline, but you know what? It doesn't matter because you can still create the success that you want for yourself and for your team. So go out there and make it happen, okay? You guys, I hope this helped. I know it's a little bit of tough love, but that is my answer to that question. Um, and I know you can. I know you can do it. Stay plugged into these trainings. Again, you guys, if you have any questions, uh, drop me a comment below. Personally message me. She personally messaged me. And um, all I got to say is go out there and make it happen. Let them see you on stage. I'll produce them and, and focus on what matters most uh, to you and in your future, Okay. All right, guys, I will. I got to take off. Um, I hope you have a fabulous weekend, and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next training. Bye for now.